Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, thinking about sticking around, hanging out, seeing what's going on in this video, maybe check out some other things. All right, so I wanted to just say that this video is merely a suggestion. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm just sharing my personal experiences and that this worked for getting rid of the bubble algae in my aquarium. Without further ado, check it out. Hey guys, at any point in time in this video that you seem that you are enjoying it, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. All right, we're backing this one up all the way to January 19th of this year. So I picked up this Reach Flux off of Amazon and one bottle, which is 10 capsules, treats a total of 100 gallons. So for our recipe for this bubble algae, to get rid of it is gonna be four times the dose. So I'm gonna need a total of four bottles with the cage being 100 gallons. All right, so the first bottle that you just saw was added a week prior to us getting our other three bottles but now we are establishing our baseline of where our bubble algae is and how big and bad it is before we go into the further full treatment to see how well it works so it looks like that there's only going to be these two clusters that we're going to be keeping our eyes on and i think one or two corals had some bubble algae on there but it wasn't as bad as it was on these two places on the rock Okay, now that we have our three bottles, now the fun starts where I will take each and every single capsule out of the bottle and open them up and put them into the cup to be mixed with water. Fast forward now. Now what I'm using here is the tank water. I got about 50 milliliters of that water and I'm mixing it gently with the powder because if you do it too fast, it's gonna just fly everywhere, which it actually did a little bit. So take your time mixing it. And then once it's fully mixed, we're gonna dump it in straight into the tank. All right, we are now into week one of our three week treatment. As you can see already, the cluster on this rock has already diminished in size and is already going 
nice and translucent. It's not as green as it once was. Now this cluster is actually showing really, really good results because you can actually see through majority of the bubbles of this cluster. And you can already see some already melting away, which is what we want. And what I'm also noticing is that this treatment is cleaning up the rocks really well. And to include the sand bed, it had a ton of algae growing on there as well. Week two is looking so much better. This cluster is already melting away. It's super clear in the bubble on the right and it is ready to go. As for our second cluster, it is getting there. It's taking a little bit more time than the other one, but you can see it already getting smaller. All right, we are now at the end of week three, which is the end of the treatment. And I'm taking this time to clean out the sump as it really needs it and the tank. As when you're done with this treatment, you need to do a 30% water change. Now what you're seeing me do here is I'm cleaning my sand bed because the reflux could in fact possibly just accumulate on your sand bed. So you wanna make sure you clean at least the top layer uh, really well and get Get it all out of there. And here we see the fish tank man in his natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> all clean. Now let's go see what the tank looks like the next day. The bubble algae is gone. It's all gone. The cluster has disappeared on this area and also on our other side. Not a single bubble is to remain. Wow, you guys, after this treatment, I was super blown away by the results. Everything looks so good. The sand bed is not fuzzy anymore. The rocks aren't furry anymore. The bubble algae is gone. The SPS are thriving, they're doing really well. All the corals are doing a lot better. Now that all that algae and whatnot is out of the tank, the treatment worked and there was no deaths, nothing harmful was uh, to the system, to the coral or to the fish. I had pretty good results and I'm really happy with it. Okay guys, so I just want to give a huge shout out to Hella Salty 28 over on Instagram because without him documenting his process on this treatment for bubble algae on his tank first, with his success, I had to give it a shot. So if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have found out how to treat this bubble algae like this. And I am super happy that I came across it. So if you have time, go check out his Instagram and I'll put it on the screen right here as well. Give him a follow. All right, guys. Well, that'll be it. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications. Turn them on so you know when I upload. And remember, guys, just reef.